Diana. Mm -hmm. My Diana. Do you know you're a queen? Mm -mm. I don't know. You were just telling me. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Yeah. I'm taking you somewhere special tomorrow night. So Don't ask me. I won't tell. Because it's a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. I am not going to ask. Okay. I hope you don't give me a shot of me. No. Come on, baby. No, I won't do that. Hmm? <laughs> okay, so. Is there any dress code? Because you're being so mysterious right now. Don't give me ideas, sweetheart. Just be yourself. Dress like yourself. You know you look great in everything. Hmm? Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good answer. <laughs> what hmm. are you doing? Hmm? <laughs> mm, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I'm just being a good boy. Mm. <laughs> mm. This beauty, it needs a lot of time to be put together. <laughs> Please, do me the honors. Turn around. Show me what you got. Yeah, do this right now. <laughs> mm. I mean, you're completely worth it, baby. You look amazing. Thank you. You're the most beautiful woman I've set my eyes on. Ah, in the wash, babe. <laughs> See you now. Your face show, your shoes shine. Wait, what is going on? Man, today's your day. You are going on, my baby. Come on, sit down. <laughs> sit down. Oh! Okay. oh. Thank you. And then let that jaw look. Wait, let me turn around. Cause I have to take advantage position. <laughs> baby. Yes, sir. I'm glad you made it. And again, you look. Thank you. <laughs> I know, right? Um, before we we order and everything, I I really can I really can keep it. It's a little it's a little secret. It's a little something that you have to understand about today. I just want you to close your eyes. Mm -hmm. I can't. I, I can't there's nothing I can do right now. You have to close your eyes. Okay, fine. Okay. Are they closed? Yeah. Are they closed? Yes, baby. How many fingers do I have now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep them closed. Keep them closed? Huh? Okay. Open your eyes. Diana. Diana from 
from the first day he walked into my life. I have never been the same. I can't get over you. I love you each and every day that we breathe. All that matters to my life. My source of happiness. In my everything. And I want to take you with me through this journey of life and never look back. I want to take you along through this journey of life. And where we will never, never be separated. Make me the happiest man on earth. Let's spend the rest of our lives together. There is nothing else left. You are me, I am you. I cannot breathe without you. Say yes. Yes, I will marry you. That's what I'm talking about. She now let the night begin. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sit, sit down, sit down, sit down. Where are these people? Hey, bring everything out now. Something came up the moment you called me. And then I'm here, still it. And are you sure you're ready for this? Are you the one that called me? And I'm asking you again if you are ready for the beans. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay. Yes. Oh. You are nothing? No. No. <laughs> Oh my god, sis! I am so happy for you. Let me see. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I know. Thank you, thank you. Tell me this is not going to be your point. Of course, I know I'm not liking everything, but. <laughs> so, what do I ask you? Because I want to be done with you. Oh my god. Yes. No one has a ears to retire to. So, technically, we are not supposed to be getting married. Oh, I truly love you. We couldn't hold you back. Yeah, I know. Oh, sis, I'm so sorry to hear this. I mean, why are you guys going to go about this? Because you know maybe I'm not just something we really wish should be when you guys are going to sleep with each other. Ah. So, what's it now? The plan is not to make babies. For now. We all have our own kids. For now. We can adopt, maybe in the future. I don't know, maybe things are not wise. And I totally agree with him. What? Oh, come on, sis. You of all people, you know better than to do this. I mean, you always want a kid of your own. Yeah, I know, my girl. What maybe does not share my exercising? You know what would happen if you have children? It's not fair. Exactly. In this time and age, it's all the information about genocide. How are you, how are you guys in the house with this? Oh 
Listen, sis. This is not right. I mean, if I had known that Melvin was a yes, trust me, I would not have come far from Trudy's daughter. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's you did, Monica, and that has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. You know my school days. You know what I've raised and disappointment I was subjected to. Mm -hmm. Monica, you should know better. I won't let go of me, but I can't. Ah, oh, sis, I didn't mean to sound insensitive, but this is wrong. Think about your kids. You're not going to have kids. I mean, you said it was in this age of time. So tell me, how can you control this? I mean, because I remember you told me about his activeness in bed. And you guys as well, you know. Yeah, and so far, we've been able to control it. Mm. Yes, we've been able to afford a kind of problem. Trust me, sis. This is wrong. I mean, what kind of a sister would I be that wants to be truth? And trust me, all this will change when you go to life. And so, the spirit will start asking of their grandchildren, and people will start seeing them in their life. How do you want to explain it? And the why? Why are you trying to turn this joyous moment into sorrow? Don't I deserve happiness? Don't I? I can't change your mind. Sis, what is wrong? I mean, what kind of, what kind of a sister would I be very much of the truth? The truth I already know. I mean, it's the bitter truth. Everything you're saying to me, I already said to myself. But I still cannot bring myself to live with me. I can't. Okay. Fine. If you're happy, I'm happy. But you need to have a better plan. Because deciding not to have kids is not a plan. Yeah. And mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you will never get to be great. Right? Alright. Baby girl, no throw me off balance. You know, say me, I know to balance. Don't use my weak point to play. Yeah. Baby girl, don't throw me off balance. You know, say me, I know to balance. Don't use my weak point to play. I will be there to carry you. 
to your essence. Okay, um, meet me tomorrow at the office by 2 p.m. Let's talk about everything. <laughs> All right, it's okay. All right, tomorrow, 2 p.m. <laughs> That's good. You okay? How was your day? Very stressful. Mm. I mean, nobody told me that it's this difficult to plan a wedding. That's because you want to do everything all by yourself. Mm? I have to. It's my wedding. My one and only wedding. It has to be perfect. I know. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Okay. Oh, everything will be fine. I know. I'll go freshen up and meet you soon. Hurry up and come tell me all about your day. Okay, I know. Alright. Love you. Love you too. Tonight is your night, girl. Come on, baby, you're taking so long. You've been saying you're coming. Look, I have a situation here. Hurry up. Huh? Close my eyes? Is this about to be a BDSM situation? Huh? Oh, baby, come on now. Okay, all right. I will obey and close my eyes. Let's make it more exciting. My eyes are closed. Come out already. Baby, come out. Diane. Come on, baby. This close your eyes situation is going to make me sleep. I don't want to sleep. I want to give you a good ride. Baby, come out already. Diane. I'll say no more. Diane. Open them now. You are everything to me. I hope you know. Wow. Baby mom. What man? You're my joy. Say. I hope you know. Your mouth cannot. You're my life. Say. I hope you know. You are. No one else like you. You know what? Come inside. I'm fine up here, by the way. <laughs> come in, come to me. Come on, fine up. Come on, let me show you. How I feel. <laughs> This was a delicious wedding night presence. 
Au! Au, au, au! Mwah! Oh, you're not Oh, my goodness. My husband. Yeah, baby. Jesus, not this, but the best. Call me that again. Call you what? What you just called me? Your husband. I love the way it sounds when you said it. My husband. My queen. Hmm. What's in your mind? What are you thinking? Nothing. Come on, baby. You can't be so silent. What is going on in this beautiful brain of yours? Hmm? I am just imagining you. What will you look like? What's going on? You are everything to me. I hope you know. Sounds like someone is getting ready to become one. You're my daddy. You're my dad. You know I love you. You're my life. Don't be like that. I hope you know. You know I love kids. Don't be like that. You know I love kids. But I was just saying. Nothing. And you know. As much as I know, as much as we both know, that we can have them. At least it's too early to start daydreaming about something we can have. Not right now. Yeah. Hmm? I know, but... But what? There's a chance that our child would not have to... Diana. There's also a high chance that our child will have one. Come on, you don't want us to go through this stuff with all the knowledge we have about it. Just be patient, okay? When we are ready to become parents, we will adopt. That's what we agreed to do, and that's what we're going to do. But what about No but. Okay. Oh, I should. Good. I love you. I love you more. You're my life. I hope you know. No one else. Yes, honey. I wish you home. What are you talking about? Our honeymoon never ended. Come on, baby. You and I are going to replicate those moments every day of our lives. <laughs> you already know. You know I love it when you talk to me like that. And I mean it too. <laughs> huh? Okay, so when will you get up from work? Usual. You sure you don't know that I'm going to work? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Tell me. Yeah, baby. What would you love to have for dinner? Mm. I think we should eat out. There's this awesome restaurant Tony took me to. And I want us to go there and check it out. Huh? Okay. Yep. If you say so. I know so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, baby. baby, I have to run along. I'm late. Already. I'm late too. Let's bounce. Not so fast. What's going on? Oh, you want that, that tantalizing peck? Mm -hmm. The one that turns your head around? <laughs> Come here, baby. Come get it. <laughs> I got you. I, wasn't I got you. Let's go, baby. Baby girl, no throw me off balance. You know, say me, I got to balance. Don't you smile with point to play. Yeah. Baby girl, don't throw me off balance. You know, say me, I know to balance. Don't you smile when you point to play. Yeah. Over the moon. 
look who we have here. <laughs> Tonero. Mm. My brother. Come on, bro. Look at you. <laughs> You're looking good. Thank you. Thank you, man. Latest married man in town. You can say that again. The most current couple in town. You can make it louder. Look at me. Look at me. Ah! I'm going around for you. Ah! <laughs> Ooh! I'm going to say something. Say it. Honeymoon really agrees with you. Okay. Diana must have been doing a great job. You're not wrong. <laughs> Marriage life is good. Huh? Good to see you, bro. <laughs> Tonero! <laughs> Woo. So, how is everything in the office? How did you guys cope while I was away? Man, you know, we we, we manage. You know how we run it. I mean, I know. Without you, not going smooth. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm back. Yeah, I mean, let's turn up the steam. Good, to, you know. It's like um, another great admirer here. Yeah. Oh, stop it, man! <laughs> I'm married. I am Maharehi. Oh yeah. Uh, look at it. Oh yeah. Look at it. That's what they usually say. Oh, that's what we usually say. I'm married. I'm married. Yeah. <laughs> Who is she? I mean, what is she doing here? Mm -hmm. Don't ask me that. Get serious. Because you're married. That's what you just said. <laughs> you're crazy. Anyway, her name is Amanda. She's the new head of the marketing department. Hmm. Which means she reports to you direct and she will be working under you on a patient. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when was she hired? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks ago, she joined the scripts. Hmm. I guess that's okay. I hope she's good at the job. Okay. Which of the job are you talking about? You be idiot. The office job. <laughs> what are you looking job? <laughs> we'll talk to you again. <laughs> You're a madman. Oh, let, let me go good to, to my see office, you, bro. Man. Let's, I'll see you. Later. Let's get to work. I'll see you. I'll see you, I'll see you real quick, bro. All mm. right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come in. Man, the V. <laughs> Tony Montana. What's up, bro? Are you ready? I'm almost done. So, did they approve your project? I mean, what is the Yeah. Hmm. That's okay. Fair enough. Bro, guess what? What? Just guess. Just guess. guess. Come on, man. Tell me. What? Amanda am King. Ask me some questions about you. I think Amanda likes you. Tony. Did you tell her that I'm married? Huh? Stop playing, bro. Come on. She knows you're married. But she doesn't seem to care about it. She's not bothered. So she knew I was married and she was staring at me like that earlier in the morning. Bro, come off it, man. Amanda is too hot. That girl, that chick is too hot. Look at her cops. Look at her skin. I mean, she's poppy. Hey, don't get me wrong. I know you have an angel of a wife in Diana, but it doesn't hurt to do a little bit of a goosey, a little bit of a noob. I mean, and I know you like varieties. <laughs> Look at that continuity. I'm done. Let's go. I'm meeting up Diana later for dinner and drinks. You newly married will not let us to breathe. Allow us to breathe. We will not let you breathe. <laughs> you will not breathe. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> Mommy, go. Yeah, no, no. So tell me, baby. Yeah. Well, so far so good. It was like I never left. Oh. Really? Uh huh. So what's new? Client wala as usual. <laughs> ah, but you trust your husband to have things under control. <laughs> I know. 
I missed you. Oh. Mm -hmm. How much? <laughs> How much do you miss? Barman, <laughs> bring the beer. I think we're done here. We have to go home now. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> it's time to go home. Yeah. It is so. Hello? Uh, you want your money or not? Yeah. Come on in. Good morning, Melvin. Good morning. So, uh, how can I help you? Um, I have some files that need to set to each other. Alright, let me have it. You don't want this back immediately. Not really, but well, I'll come and pick them up later today. Good. Because before you came in, I was doing something. And I have to be done before I read this and proofread before signing. I hope you don't mind. No. Good. Is there anything else? Wow, that was so rude of you. You haven't even officially met, don't you think? Well, I'm sure you know who I am. Yeah. And I know who you are. Yeah, of course. So what else is there to officiate? I give my heart all to you. Take me as I am. Give my heart all to you. Take me and say, Maybe more. You are everything to me. Baby, more. On your game, more. Be my Romeo. Love is sweet. I'm your Judah. It's love is sweet. Hey, baby. It just got better. How is my darling doing? How are you, princess? I'm fine. I just Oh. I miss you more. I miss you so much. What did you say? Diana, 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 how many times did I call you? Do not touch the tiger's tail. I will just leave this office right now and come and carry you straight home. Hmm? Hmm, don't try me. <laughs> I need to make sure you're thinking of me every day. Of course, you know I am.
I love you more. Good day, madam. Good day. What, what, what am I doing here? Oh, friends are in your office, and your colleagues brought you here. Um, you were at St. John's Hospital. Why? What happened to you? Um, we ran some tests on you, and um. Congratulations, you are four weeks pregnant. What? That oh. can be true. I can't be pregnant. I mean, I took precautions. I don't want this baby now. I don't want it. Took so precautions? Oh. Why? Okay, baby, are you sure you're good? Yes, we are fine. Did you go to the hospital? No, no, I, I didn't. Diana! Baby, I, I, I swam today. Oh, no, baby. I feel better at some point, yeah. Alright, um, I'm going to the bar with a few colleagues. That's great. I'll see you at home, okay? Love you. I love you, love you too. Tonero Escalante. Melvin Modi. Modi. Tonero Versace Versace. Check me out, bro. Versace all over? Check me out. Look at you. Check me Looking out. so good with the company's money. I hope not. No. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't do that to me, Thomas. Don't put me in trouble. Oh, boy. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Amanda. Wow. How wow. are you? You're looking so handsome as usual. Thank you. Hmm. I'll be in my office. Okay. okay. Um, sorry, Melvin. Yes. How about those fires? I hope they are ready. They are all ready. All right. I'll come and get it shortly. Okay. Bye. Right. See you then. <laughs> come out of that. Melvin. Huh? 
this girl's body is. Tony, she's cute, isn't she? Tony, hmm? Make your P no go put you for trouble one day. Oh, maybe calm down. You see Amanda's body, her coughs. It's. <coughs> isn't she? Tell me she's not, and you are admiring it. I'm going back to work. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> me too. See you soon, bro. See you later at lunch. Okay. Diana! Honey, what is this? Honey, calm down. I can explain. I was going to tell you about this, but I couldn't summon the courage, so I'm, I'm truly sorry. Sorry. When were you going to tell me? Huh? Is that how it is now? We both go ahead and, and do what we want to do, and we feel like doing it without talking to each other. Answer me! That's not true. I, I didn't know how it happened. It was a mistake. I'm sorry. What do you mean? A mistake? Oh no, no, Diana. I know you. This was not a mistake. You wanted it. So you made sure to get pregnant. Admit it! Like that. I mean, I know the risk involved. I wouldn't want to get pregnant. It wasn't intentional. I'm sorry. Diana, how, how could you do this to us? We talked about this. We had an agreement. Even before we got married, we had an agreement. You agreed. You agreed and still went ahead to do what you wanted. No, as I'm supposed to explain for you to understand. I didn't plan for all of this to happen. I promise you, I didn't. I'm sorry. Please. I don't believe you. I believe you did this on purpose. Because, hey, your body, your choice. But I want you to think, think hard about the life, the kind of life this child will have if the worst happens. Don't suffer like this. I love you way too much to do anything that will make you doubt me. We can talk about this, please. I'm truly sorry. It's too late. Let go of me! Mary, listen, it wasn't my fault. Mary! Robin, I'm sorry! It was not intentional, I'm sorry! Hello. Hi, Diana. How are you doing? Good. I am not so good. I had a fight with Melvin and he left the house. I am scared you're going to drink or drive. Please. Calm down. Calm down, Diana. Okay? Okay, but if it's not so much to ask, please, could you please call him on phone and, and meet him up? Please help me and bring him home safely. I, I am scared. Please, I beg you. Okay. Okay. Just calm down, eh? Stop begging me. You don't think that he's like my brother. Of course. I will track him now and know where he is. And I promise you, I'm, I'm going to bring him safe. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much, Tony. Anytime. Now, take it easy. We need to get some rest. Alright? I will. Thank you. I 
give my heart all to you Take me as I am ah. Vino, Pinto de Mesa Donero Escalante Vino, Pinto de Mesa Donero Escalante Ah, ah Opa, algo de tu Bro You can never get worse or better How did you go? You, you left really quick at the closing time. What happened? I had to hurry. I needed to finish up and get home. And um, because my wife Diana was not feeling so good, so I needed to rush home and you know, take care of her. And why did you say so? One thing. Just one and only thing I asked her not to do. That's exactly what she went ahead and did. <laughs> well, you should have known women are like that. That is why the elders used to say, before you get married to a woman, you should buy a dog and train the dog. If you can endure the excesses of the dog, then you can endure anything the woman can do. So, what did she do, if I may ask? I feel bad. I feel worse than bad. Come on, Vino, you're scaring me. I mean, whoever said this life is a bitch. Oh, Melvin, don't do me, don't do me, Shiki. I mean, uh, she's pregnant. I mean, we should be popping champagne. Pregnancy, it's, it's, it's something of joy, especially when it comes to married couples. So, I mean, you don't like it? Is it a bad thing? Is it bad? I'm heirs by genotype. And so is she. And you have to know who's already to it. Who's already in love with her. Before I found out, I just couldn't let her go. I couldn't let her go. We, we talked about it. And we agreed that we will not attempt and we will never have a child of our own. And whenever we were ready, we were going to adopt a child. That was the plan. Mevin, if I have to be honest with you, you guys made a very, very big mistake. You shouldn't have gotten married in the first place. It's high risk. Are you here to judge me? Or are you here to listen to what is bothering me? Okay, sorry about that, man. I, 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 I don't want to sound like a judge. I married her because of love. There is no way I can live with the fact that I'm about to bring in a sick child into this world. I'm bringing the child to come and die. Sorry, man, but you still have a very, very big question here, which is, what are you going to do? Uh, because, I mean, all bagu, but not bagu. Uh, something we enter, you don't enter. Uh, to bring it out, it's, uh, uh, this one is bigger than lonely the talk. When, 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 when. <laughs> Man, what are you going to do? I just don't want to be a bad father. I can't bring this sick child into this world.
to abort it. What? About what? Why? Really? Are you asking me that? Yes, I am asking you why. You know exactly why. You know why. Do I have to spell it out for you again? You know that there's a pretty good chance that this child could be born healthy. You know that. Then what if it's not? Then what? No, 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 Diana. We had an agreement. You, by yourself, admitted that it was a mistake. And this is how we fix the mistake. No. It was my mistake to think I could play God. It was my mistake to think I could choose where and when. This child chose to come to us. And there's nothing we can do about it. Nothing. Diana. Think. Think hard and long about your decision and the consequences you have to live with. This might end badly for you. Think. You, you threatening me? Have a nice day. Melvin! First one should be A, TIP, 100%, and B is um, VAT, 20%, administration, 20%. Counting hundred percent. CIT. CIT, 20%. Are we here to work or do you just want to poke nose into my private life and gossip? Which one? Work or gossip? Sorry, yo. my apologies. I didn't know I was working on an eggshell. Sorry. Let's finish up this. I have work to do. I have other things to do. Let's get done with this. It's okay, let's continue. I'm sorry, please. Next, FL. 20%. LULU, 20%. CPA, 20%. MIC, 40%. Baby, I'm home. Oh, my goodness. Babe, honey. Where are you? Baby. Babe, are you in this house or not?
got this form right now. What's going on? Honey? I just called you now and you hung up on me. What's going on? Where are you? I'm back and you're not in the house. Hospital. What? Well, why? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, is everything all right? Yeah, I'm here. So you said you're on your way home. I had a lot on my table. Um, can you pick up something for us to eat? I mean, it's too late to cook. Sorry, I couldn't tell you about the hospital. Sorry, I didn't pick up for you to tell me about the hospital. You must be very hungry. I'll go dish something for you to eat. Let me wait. I'm sorry things found out this way. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for forcing you to commit abortion. That was a mistake. It's fine. I understand. Just promise me one thing. What? <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh. Why are you laughing? Amanda, 
How are you? You're needed in the conference room. You and I actually. Uh, yeah. Okay, please give me a moment. Give me a moment. Please wait, wait. Hey. Amanda. Yeah? I was rude to you the other day. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I guess you're having a bad day. Yes. It was all transferred aggression. It's fine. Forgive me, I've forgotten. Okay? Really? Yeah, of course. So let's go to the office and get the date done. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Thank you. I like that spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monica. Tell me, how far you? Oh, wow! I'm so happy. I mean, I am gonna be an answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so um, sis, please, are you going to beg you for something? What's that? If she's a girl, please name her Monica. Name her after me, please. Okay, you. I'll consider. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Speaking of names, so how is my in-law taking the news? So tell me. Not so well at first. But it's coming around. Oh, great news. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, are you? Are you okay? Uh, I mean. You don't sound any well. Monica, I don't know. I'm scared. Maybe. I didn't like the way Mervyn sounded when I told him about the pregnancy. He, he turned to a different person. He changed. I, I don't understand. What did he say? He didn't say much, but I know my husband. And I'm scared of how he would react when he finds out that the baby is not oh. mm. Sis, just, just relax, okay? The baby will be born healthy or even more healthier. Alright? So just, just, just relax. Okay? We messed up. I mean, we shouldn't have gotten married. I should have left Navy in the moment he told me about the genetic. I should have. But you know you couldn't have. Yes. You love Melvin so much. I know. Yeah, I know. I love him and I love him more and more each day. He knows me so well. Everything about me. My body. My soul. He takes good care of me. Oh. He does literally everything. Sis, I know all of that. Alright? I do. Monica, you know what I mean. I'm afraid I, I do. Um, sis, that reminds me. Michael will be coming into town next week. Mm hmm <laughs> That's the news. Yes. And um, I need you to help me organize a surprise welcome party for him. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know, I've got you. Oh. So, all you need to do is to tell me what you want. Okay. Where, when. And I'll make a call for you. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're the best fixes ever, right? I know, right? Mm -hmm. You don't even need to tell me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what do we have? Yeah. You would always be hungry. Yes. I, I, I didn't think. I give my heart all to you. Take me as I am. I give my heart all to you. Take 
Let me answer you, baby more. You are everything to me, baby more. On your game more, be my Romeo. Love is sweet. I'm your Juliet. It's love is sweet. Please talk to me. Is she okay? She's okay for now. What do you mean for now? The baby, the baby is fine. We were able to get everything under control. But I'm afraid the pregnancy is a high risk pregnancy. Her blood pressure is high. And. Um, Doctor, what are you trying to say? Why are you speaking parables? What is wrong with my wife? Okay. What I am saying is that. Your wife needs to be kept during this uh, pregnancy period. Um, but we will keep her admitted at the moment so that we can monitor her and uh, make sure that her preeclampsia doesn't develop to eclampsia. Because if it does, she might die. She and the baby. You're not serious. I'm going to lose my wife? Offer a baby that we don't even want? What do we do? Is, is abortion an option? Baby, what are you saying? Abortion is not an option. Oh, Nayana, please! Do not bring your stubborn self into this right now. Didn't you hear what he said? You will die! And you're not gonna die! Because I should kill my baby because I want to live. Yes! If that's what it's gonna take! How do we get this baby out of her? Because I can't lose my wife, doctor! She doesn't necessarily need abortion. All she needs to do is to keep herself away from every form of stress and um, vigorous activities. Just like I said, we'll keep her here for a few days so that we will monitor her improvement. Um, if the baby is matured, you might um, induce labor, depending on the level of the improvement. You're welcome. See, argument is not an option here. Um, if it's not good for your condition, please. Don't look at me as if I'm the evil one here. You and I are in this together. You have to understand that. Are we? 
Come on now, don't be ridiculous. Am I? Hmm? I'm done here. I'm out of here. Say anything inappropriate? No, not at all. Surprise. Come on, you don't have to be. You're welcome. Thank you. So, what can I do you for? Mm, my car broke down, so I was thinking if you can give me a ride right? mm. since you are taking the same. Oh my god. I'm so sorry about your car. Thank you. And yes, I'll drop you off. <laughs> Thank you, Vino. Oh, you too. You don't join Tony, they call me Vino, Abby. Ah, stop that. That's a sweet name. Really? Like a wine. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Be at the parking lot at the end of the day. Period. And I'll drop you off. It's <laughs> fast. I'm waiting there. All right. See you. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Get back to work. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's your house. Yeah, that's my house. All right, that's good. Thanks for the ride. It was entertaining. Really? Yeah, it is. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank My you. My pleasure. <laughs> so, Melvin. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. Go ahead. Okay. Do you like me? I like you, Amanda. But as a friend, though. As a friend? Does it not feel fine kiss you the way I just did? Good. Now we are going to be more than just friends. Okay? So see you tomorrow at the job. Bye! <laughs> 
Bye. Give my heart all to you. Take me as I am. I give my heart all to you. Take me as I am. Baby, move You are everything to me. Baby, move on. You can move. Be my Romeo. Love is sweet. I'm your Juliet. It's love is sweet. Be my. While you were sleeping. I was okay. Just another boring day at work. But it was okay. Okay, have you had dinner? Or should I fix you something? Oh, I've already done that. You are everything to me. It's fine. I went for check up today. And you going to ask me how it went? How did he go? Are you still mad at me? No. I am not. It doesn't sound like it though. I can say what I want to say, but you will hear what you want to hear. So? There is the answer. You're mad at me. What is it? He looks so sad. <sighs> Melvin. Yes. And the baby. Things are getting so bad. Like, things are really bad right now. That I have started thinking if I made a mistake keeping this child, or if it's really worth it getting married to Melvin. No. No, sis, don't you ever say those words. But that's the truth, Monica. I don't know. Melvin can just bring himself to forgive me. He thinks I, I, I am bad. He thinks I don't care about his feelings and what he wants. And that's because I refused to abort this child. Even when the doctor said I could die, he has really changed. He barely talks to me. He's really home. Like he takes forever to get home. I think he's avoiding me. Sis, all you need to do right now is to calm down. Okay? Just just give him a little time. He'll come around. Trust me. I don't think he will, money. I don't think so. We shouldn't have gotten married. I mean, what were we thinking? That love was enough? It wasn't. I just realized it. And it's, it's so sad. This is a real one and it's not fair. I know. I know. You need to stop. Alright? All you need to do right now is just stop thinking about Melvin for a while and focus on the baby. Yes, because, you know, that's why you're making all the sacrifices. What is it? Are you okay? The baby. He just kicked. Oh, oh my god. That is so beautiful. <laughs> I mean, my nephew on this inside there must be really strong. Yeah. <gasps> I just wish that maybe we would just take away his pride for once. And see the blessing this could bring. And that is the more reason you have to be calm. 
and he will come around, trust me. I hope so. Sure. I pray that this baby will come out healthy. That is the most important thing to me right now. And trust me, the baby will. <sighs> I'll be traveling to Canada on the 26th for a meeting. Really? If I'm not mistaken, 26th is on a Thursday. When are you coming back? Yeah, it's on a Thursday. And the meeting is on Friday. So I'll be back on Saturday or Sunday, depending on the preparation. Is there any other thing you want me to do for you before I go? No. Not really. Are you going alone? No. Yes. I mean, no. Who are you going with? Tony. I'm going with Tony. Amazing. Thank you. So, are you ready? Almost set. I just have to pick up some files and then my jacket. Okay. I'll wait for you downstairs. All right. I'll see you in a few. Okay. All right. We do what we do when we have to do it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And um, so now that work is over, maybe we can go out and do something. Something more fun. What do you think? Something like what? Mm, I don't know. You know, Karaba is very beautiful and very big. Maybe we should just go out and have fun. Mm, I think that sounds good. Yeah. That sounds good, but... I think we should eat first before we go out. I'm really famished. Okay? Yeah, it's true. So why don't you go freshen up and meet me at the restaurant, okay? Okay. All right. That will be I'm coming, okay? Thank you. Yep. Who's that? Are we going to swimming? Sorry, I slept off after lunch. I thought swimming would be nice. Don't you think? Okay. Well, in that case, I will meet you at the pool. Okay. All right. I'm waiting. Don't be too long. See you soon. Baby girl, no throw me off balance. You know, say me, I thought you balance. No use my weak point to play. Baby girl, don't throw me off balance. You know, say me, I know to balance. Don't no? use my weak point to play. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? You win. Uh, look, it, yeah. might, it might be an emergency, okay? It might be an emergency, baby, maybe baby. from the office. Baby, the only emergency here is me, okay? So. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Who is calling? My wife. My wife. Ignore her, okay? 
Listen, it might be an emergency. She's pregnant. And how is it my business? You're going home tomorrow, you will see her. Just ignore her. Hello? I don't think I can do this. I can't do this. And what do you mean that you can't do this? Look, I... I have a lot to think about. It's not an easy decision. It's a lot on the table for me. Okay? Hold on, what did that witch say to you? Did you just call my wife a witch? Huh? No, I didn't mean no, 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 I don't even want the apology. Don't you ever, in your life, in your miserable life, think about my wife, or even talk about her. Now get out. Out! I've had enough. Out. Leave my room. Tony, I beg. I beg, I don't want to laugh. I beg. Shut up and start talking. Talk about what? Huh? How did it go? It went well. Just well. Be more specific now. You know I'm not talking about conference. Spill the beans. Not the only beans. I will also spill granola to <laughs> What else are you asking about if not the conference? Stop playing me now. How did the thing go? Did it go skrrr or did it go wow? What is the thing where it go skrrr? Olodo, it starts with A and ends with A. Hi! <laughs> Back thing to the switch you for head. Before uncle. Well, I hate to bust your bubble, but Absolutely nothing happened. It was a beautiful conference. How? What do you mean nothing happened? All right, Tony. Well, something kind of wanted to happen, but then... But then what? Diana called. That time. Exactly. Immediately I saw her call. I was afraid something might have happened to her or the baby. It was it was the right thing. I mean, the perfect timing. I was glad because I would have been so mad with myself if I slept with Amanda before realizing that she was rushed to the hospital. Hospital? What? I mean, is she okay? She's recuperating. It was actually Monica that called because she was with her before she passed out. And when I spoke to my wife, Diana sounded, she sounded so weak, so frail. I instantly became ashamed of myself for the way I've been behaving lately. And it's, we didn't plan it. But it has happened. What I don't understand is why I keep punishing my wife, the woman I love, for the mistake we both made. Tony, I don't know if I'm making sense. Uh, uh, in as much as I am. I don't like what they're doing to my conscience, but yeah, you're making sense. Yeah. It's a high risk pregnancy. And I know that. Yet I've been stressing my wife out. I don't know what I hope to achieve.
you are wishing the baby away. Well, I've gone past that now. That baby is not going anywhere. Diane loves the baby so much. So much, she's ready to sacrifice her life for the baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you smiling like a goat? <laughs> Why? What's, what's that? Maybe. I hate to say this, but I mean, you're a better man than I am. I mean, Diana is lucky to have you. Hmm. I'm a lucky man. Yeah. Well, let me go and see if Amanda will want me. Because when I wanted Amanda, Amanda wanted you. And now that you don't want Amanda again, let me see if Amanda will want me. <laughs> That's yeah. all. Mr. Wanta. Hey? Come on, man. You need to stop. You need to slow down. Uh-uh. I can only stop when my wife stops sleeping on me when we're making love. <laughs> God. It's that bad. You're savage, man. It's that bad. Not my fault. You remember what they used to say? Lonely are the dogs. <laughs> 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 Amanda, what is the meaning of all these new pictures you keep sending me? Why? What is wrong with you? It needs to stop. What has come over you? Tell me you don't like what you see. I don't like what I see. Look, it is very obvious to me that something is wrong with you. And I don't care because I've had enough of your nonsense. I don't want you. I do not want you. Is it by force? Is it by force? No, honey. You said something that is going on in the thing. I felt it with you kiss my father. Now you're being ridiculous. Am I? I have to get your attention somehow. You and I still have an unfinished business. We have ring. nothing. Absolutely nothing. And don't you ever send me nude pictures again. If you do, I swear, I will report you to the administration. And I'm not joking about it. Report me to who, baby? There was a reason why I didn't show up my face in the pictures. I'm not stupid, so how will you prove that? I don't know what you're trying to achieve. But you have to stop. This nonsense needs to stop. Both of our jobs are on the line. This is my work, my life, my career, my everything that you're joking with. It needs to stop. You heard me, Amanda. I don't care about you. Let go of me. Stay off me. You disgust me. Get out of my office. Get out of my office. If you don't leave my office now, I'll call the security. And I'll tell everybody what has been going on. Get out! I will be back. You're not going to be back. I will be back. You will not be back. I love you. You're not you. going to come back to my office anymore. I don't love you. Mm -hmm. I don't love you. I hate I you. you. I despise you. Leave me alone. Look at you. Oh, I have to be careful. Oh, yeah. That is her. Now, keep let me get Aha! <laughs> How you doing? Fine, thank you, my dear. I'm oh, good. I missed you. And I missed you more. Mm -hmm. Sugar, you are right on time. Really? What happened? I made a favorite. Oh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, as much as that's supposed to make me happy, remember what the doctor said. You're not supposed to be in the kitchen. Don't worry about me. I am fine. Well, it's okay. But I still feel you shouldn't be stressing yourself. Hmm? I am not complaining. Look, 
I want you to be completely okay all the time. Hmm? Um, I miss you, Mama. I miss you. Now, let me take you upstairs and pamper you. <laughs> Let's go. That is that. Please don't ask me to leave my home, please. I come with you, please. Amanda, what do you want? I came to apologize. Well, I know it's wrong of me to keep on coming to you. I'm coming to you. Please, I'm sorry. I just want us to be like colleagues. Please. I don't want to lose your friendship. I'm serious, Melvin, please. I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm begging you. It's okay. It's okay, I'm forgiving you. For real? Sure. Are you serious? Yes. Are you asking me to sit? Alright, sit. Thank you, Vino. Mm. Vino, sit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hmm. So, Joe, we are cool. Sure, we are. We are. All right. Um. <laughs> Amanda. Thank you. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, come in. Tonero Escalante. Irotinto Alpha. What's up, bro? I'm alright. Kind of man. Wait, what was that? Isn't that the file from the cable company? Yeah, that's right. I thought they were supposed to send it to the headquarters. Oh no, not yet. Um, they will refund it after the party uh, weekend then on Monday. I brought them actually because some um, some papers in it needs your signature. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what time is the opening party tomorrow? Mm. At 6 p.m. Yes. Red carpet start. I wish Diane could come. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I would advise you don't. This party is going to be wild. Trust me. I mean, I can tell already. Okay, oh. it's fine. Man, I got to leave you. I. I am swamped today. See you at the closing time. Thanks. All right. Take care of yourself, bro. Amanda. Oh. What am I doing here? You're awake. I know. Don't touch me. What am I doing in this house? Huh? How did I end up here? I'm talking to you. How did I end, end, end up on your back? Naked! Your back is the disturbing my needle. Are you serious? You have no idea how I'm going to tear this house down if you don't tell me how I ended up here. Answer me. Well, as you must know. Last night was the best night of my life. What? Yeah, we made love. You what? You wait, 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 wait. You must be joking. I'm not wait. joking. Are you trying to say we made love? Of course we made love. And last night you were shouting, baby, give it to me, baby, give it to me. Hmm? And we're doing wham, 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 wham.
Amanda. What's the matter with you? Have you no manners? How dare you badge into my office? Calm down, baby. I'm just so excited to come see you. What do you want? I want you. Cut the crap, Amanda. What are you doing in my office? Dinner tonight? At my place? What audacity! You barge into my office and... You still don't get it, Melvin. Get what? I get whatever I want. No matter the cost. That's cool, yeah. It's either we do it the easy way, Now listen to me, Amanda. I do not give a damn. I'm not yours and would never be. You manipulating lunatic of a woman. <laughs> Get out of my office. I have work to do. Get out. Did I just hear manipulation? Yes. You're a manipulative lunatic. Get out. I'm just getting started. I have you where I want you. And you will do just as I said. You know, now I am totally convinced that you're out of your senses. You dement. You cray cray. And I don't have time for your BS nonsense. Get out. For real. Out. Check the phone. I just sent you something. I, I'm done with you. I don't want you in this office right now. Leave. Melvin, check your phone. Check your phone, man. I'm sure this will change your mind. If I don't get to see you by 7 p.m. tonight, <laughs> those pictures will find their way to your lovely wife. I know you won't want that because I heard she's in a delicate condition. So imagine that. Hmm? Be a good boy. <laughs> oh my God! Thank you. Oh. I'm so happy to see you. Same here, baby. I'm so glad to be in your place. You look amazing. Thank you. So what can I offer you? Anything. Wine? Perfect. I'll be right back. Just give me a minute. So, cheers. Cheers to us. To us. Mm. Nice. I'm making jollof rice. Jollof? Yeah. My favorite. You're going to love it. My dad jollof. I can't wait. I can't wait. I hope there are obstacles in it. Everything Chicken is there. Please. Everything. <laughs> I can't wait. So, if you like to run into this beautiful tree, why don't you? 
you just eat first? Come oh. on, baby, we have all the time. Yeah. Let's eat. And then, uh... All right, just give me one minute. Let me check up. Hmm? We have oh, yeah. the whole time. Okay. Just give me a second. Let me check the food, okay? I'll all right. right. Hurry up! It's coming. Yeah, baby. Yes. It's almost done. Almost yeah. done? Yeah, just give me some. Tell me, what, what are you making it for? Chicken? Beef? Beef? All of them. All of the above? Yes. Wow. I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to eat. Cheers again. To what? For a newfound love. I'm all here. Mm. Mm. There you go. <laughs> mm. Yes, baby. So, so, baby, I want to eat the rice now. Is it ready, babe? Baby. Are you asleep? Babe. Amanda, you have to stop this horrible manners of backing into my office. It needs to stop. To hell with your office, Melvin. How dare you humiliate me like that? How dare you? What are you talking about? Humiliate you? You perfectly know what I'm talking about. I don't. You drugged me and deleted all the files on my phone, my laptop, everything is gone. How dare you? <laughs> okay. So, you are so mad. You're so angry I deleted those pictures from your phone. Now you don't have anything to blackmail me with. How does it feel? How does it feel to lose control of a situation? <laughs> Check mates. <laughs> Leave my office. I don't have time for your BS. It's not over yet. Before I was going so easy on you, Melvin. You see this time? I will not show you mercy. I will show you what I'm capable of doing. Uh, 
Okay. We shall see. We shall see. We will see. Think I'm playing with you? Nonsense. Yeah. Come on. She's fine. She was okay before I left. She's in Lebanon. I just got home now to pick up some stuff, some baby stuff, everything she's going to need. And I'm heading back to the hospital. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you there. I am the happiest man on earth. I mean, think about it. My son is the cutest, strongest boy on the face of this earth. I'm a proud father. <laughs> I mean, it feels like my, my, my child came down from heaven. Like like the stars. Huh? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Mm. If your blessed child had fallen from the sky, I would have been the one that would cut. Because I can fly. A flyer. <laughs> Air peace. <laughs> Dear Tinto. My brother, man. I'm happy for you, bro. Thank I'm you. happy for you. I'm Congratulations. Happy too. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you very much. I mean, Congrats. Diana was right. The baby came out healthy. Very healthy. And it came out with an AS genocide. Isn't that a miracle? It is. Isn't God a God, the wonderful God? Hmm. Fear God, though. For you though, sounds like you've been expecting this child all along. Good boy. That's not picking the worry me. Honestly. Because I mean, I mean, do you know that when I picked up my child, when I held my child for the first time, ah oh boy, tears won't leave my eyes away. I felt like it was the most wonderful thing that I've ever experienced in my life. You know? Thank God. So, when is Diana leaving the hospital? Well, we're not there. Uh, I'm not sure. We're still consulting to make sure that we don't make the same mistake again. You know? I mean, we're lucky with this one. We don't want to push our luck. So, yeah. Uh, she's still in the hospital. And of course, we need we leave, I will let you. Yeah, of course, please do. Let me know so I can actually come to say hi. So. Yes, I mean, there must be a proper celebration. Do you know what we're talking about? This, this, what just happened is, is remarkable. Mm. Huh? Diana is free. She's fine. She's healthy. My son is here, healthy and free too. Frito. Frito. You know, be in the other room. The other room. <laughs> Frito, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> hey, 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 bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Tonero. Woo! Vino. Vino. After Vino. all I've been through. Cheers, bro. I'm a daddy now. Cheers, bro. The, the, Call the, me the latest, the latest daddy, daddy. in town, <laughs> Daddy Vino Tinto. I know. Ah, I know. to call myself Tinto. <laughs> Is our child okay? My son is fine. Your son? What are you talking about? How could you? Megan, why would you do this to me? I, I don't understand what you're trying to say. What did I do? What is going on?
it's not what it looks like. What is it then? A mistake? A mistake. I see. But <laughs> maybe she fell in love. Oh, you fell in love and couldn't get up. Baby, the way it is. Baby, hold on. I, I wasn't get out. Come on, Diana. Get out! Yes. Get out! How could you? Maybe I knew you would do this to me. While I was constantly in pain, worried sick about our child. You were busy living the life. This child almost took my life. And you had you, you had the gut. Baby, just, just go. I don't want to talk to you right now. Get out! Baby, baby, baby. I will go insane! Go! Yes, of course I heard. Melvin, how could you do that to her? How? It's not what you think. Okay, she didn't give me the privilege to explain. Look, I'm not a monster. And you know it. She just didn't give me the privilege to explain. I know you're not a monster. But the pictures, how? Look, I was drugged at that party. I, I don't have proof. But I'm sure that's how I ended up with that woman that took me home and the next thing she started blackmailing me. I was under the influence. I didn't know what was going on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on a sec. I, I totally don't understand. You mean she just woke up one morning and decided to drug you? Yes. She, she, she's been at it. It didn't just start then. It, it has been going on for months. Okay, she, the, the woman is desperate. She, and she. Fine. Why didn't you tell Diane? Why? We're not talking then. We're not on talking terms. Oh. I have all night to start talking. That's why I called you to come. I'll tell you everything. But please, I need your help to get my family back. After all I've gone through, I can't lose my wife and child. Please, you need to help me. Okay, fine. I will help you. But you need to tell me everything. What do I help you with? Franklin Daniels. Does that name ring a bell? He lives in Amsterdam. He's her fiance. He lives in Amsterdam. Do you remember? And how did you find out about that? I know that you're engaged to him. I know that you care about him so much. And the only reason you're not with him is because he has another family in Amsterdam. So what did he promise you? That he will leave his wife? Hmm? Yes. 
They are not his family. I am his family. The only woman he loves. He doesn't love her. Mm. She's just there for the money. Yeah, I know you care about him so much, but I'm not here to hear the story of your life. I also know he's someone you cannot afford to lose. Am I wrong? What do you want, Melvin? Good. I want the truth. The whole truth. Or I will send a copy of us on there to your boyfriend or your fiance in Amsterdam. I'm sure he will be so excited to see how good you are on there. Start talking. It's not yet time to catch cold. What is going on here? Well, what are you doing with these people? You just need to calm down, okay? Um, there is something important to you. Amanda, that's it. I lied to you. What do you mean you lied to me? You sent me the picture, right? I wanted your husband. And he never gave in to me. Away, he pushed me away. I was angry because no one has ever visited me like that. <laughs> I wanted a revenge. So I dropped him. I dropped him when we went to the party. And offer to take him home wait for the refuse to. I took it to my house. Undressed him. And took those pictures I sent to you. I made so deliverable that. That he was so unconscious. Nothing really happened between us. I knew he wouldn't remember what happened that day because of the drugs I gave him. So I started blackmailing him. Nothing really happened between us. I'm so sorry. Who is this evil woman? And from what hell did you bring her out? She's my colleague. We work together. How long has this been going on? For almost a year. You never told me. You didn't put up the time. How did you even get her to come here and say all of this? Because I know she didn't come here out of her own cup. Yeah, you're right. She has a fiance. She feels so much better. And from the look of things, she doesn't want me to find out about the pictures. That's why she's here. <laughs> what an irony. You have someone you care about. You wouldn't want to lose. Yeah. 
yet you wanted to destroy another woman's happiness. You are a disgraced woman. Let me warn you. Stay here. Away from my man. Stay away from my husband. Else. I'll kill you myself. Get out! I'm sorry. Get out, Harry! <laughs> um, okay, so where is my nephew? He really nurses. Okay, then I have to leave for the view. Off I go. See you guys later. The door is open. Vino Tinto de Mesa. Tonero Escalante Elvado. I'm good. I just added a new one. <laughs> How far now? Bro, I'm good. Though. Not too much. Just trying to clear my desk. Okay. What's up? Have you heard? Heard what? We got the contract. No, apart from that. Don't what? tell me you've not heard. No. Amanda, she quit. Wow. She quit? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Good radiance. Bro, come on. Do you hear that babe that much? No, come on, man. Don't get me wrong, okay? I don't hate her. But I'm glad her wahala is done. You know what I mean? Yeah. I be French, huh? Tony? <laughs> Tony, please. Tony, come to go to your office. But it's true! No, 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 no. Tony. <laughs> to your office, bro. It's okay if you don't agree with me. I don't agree with you. <sighs> Anywho, uh, I, I didn't come with my car, so... I'll drop you off. I know. I got you. So, to your office. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lonely at the top. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> you are, you are something. <laughs> See you after work. All right, bro. All okay. Right. okay. Turn. Thank you, God. Amazing. Thank you. I feel great. Where is the baby? He's with mom. Mom is taking care of him. 
In other words, we have the whole house to ourselves. Yes, we do. What do you want to do? Give me your hands. Go on. Trust me. Give me your hands. Turn around. I'd rather show you what a man like me can do to his amazing wife. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 